this is the realest video that you're going to see on this channel. So I'm just going to warn you in advance if you're sensitive to um, suicide, self-harm, then click out because I'm going to be mentioning this in this video. Here we go. So in sixth grade, I didn't have a lot of friends because in elementary school, I had a lot of friends, but we hit sixth grade, it was that big change, and sorry, no one wanted to hang out with me. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's how it was, because I was the weird one. But I had a few friends, and one day I met this really awesome person named Alex, and they were amazing. We talked a lot, almost every day, and <laughs> he was just, they were just an amazing person. I loved them. And I, he was, they, 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 uh, they were odd. <laughs> they would just publicly go around like, I'm the oddest person you'll ever see in this school. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> we would hang out a lot in school as we didn't live close to each other and it was complicated and stuff. He had a very odd relationship with his family. Um, he opened up to me about his father who died in a car wreck when he was seven and his mom who was verbally, emotionally, mentally, physically abusive to, to them. And it hurt hearing that, but what can you do? I couldn't do anything. But eventually he moved out and lived with his grandparents, which was pretty good, because they didn't live too far from me. I remember him, would he'd drive to meet up with me, like, somewhere. And, yeah, it was, it was pretty great. I, I loved him. I said they for the majority of the first bit of the video, but I'm just gonna go with he. I always refer to everyone as a they, I don't know why, so. <laughs> He was <laughs> the best person. I loved him. So when seventh grade rolled around the first day, he had a haircut <laughs> that was new. I liked it. It was pretty, pretty cool. Um, but he also opened up to me about something and he told me, do not tell anyone else. And I'm like, okay. But that ended up backfiring. I did not tell anyone else. He told someone. And those two got into an argument, a big one, over, I don't remember what it was, but it was over something kind of stupid. <laughs> and I remember this other person told the entire school. That didn't sit, that didn't go well. Not only was he bullied, like, just verbally, physically he was shoved into lockers, he was shoved into the wall. Ugh. He was, it was bad for him. And then I moved schools. And I remember we'd talk like every night. <laughs> that was always, it always feel good to just come home from school, do my homework, and then sit on my phone and text him because he was an amazing person. He helped me through some stuff. I helped him through stuff. And I'm like, how is it going? And he's like, how do you think? I'm getting bullied every five minutes. I'm like, shouldn't that have blown over by now? And he's like, it hasn't. These people aren't going to change. And that stuck with me, that people do not change. If they change, it's typically for the worst. Not a lot of people change for the good. And it's sad, but it happens. So, we would, I remember one day, I went to the store, and he was there, and he had been carrying around a little glass dragon, um, and he gave it to me, and it meant the world to me, because he made it, he made it, it's not like he just bought it, he made it. I would show you, but it broke recently, but, and I kind of was really sad about that, but what can you do and I loved it 
I it was on it was sitting like right back there on my shelf and we were walking and I think he tripped on something and he fell and the way that his arm hit the floor his sleeve rolled up cuts lots of them cuts on top of cuts and I uh, I think he quickly tried to like cover it but he couldn't I'm like what's what's that he's like and told me that he had been cutting himself and that really did hurt me but that was that wasn't the worst so he ended up um when i moved schools we were talking one night and i thought he was getting better because he wasn't talking like all suicidal as much and i'm like okay he's getting better he's he's gonna be okay he's gonna pull through this and he texted me one night the bullying hasn't stopped and i'm like I, I, i'm sorry i can't do anything you have you told the t staff? He's like, I've told everyone. I There's nothing they can do about it. They try, but they can't do anything. He did end up moving schools. But that didn't help. No. He was... He told someone else the secret that he told me and that one other person. All things started again. It did get to a point where I thought he was getting better. He was getting comfortable with himself. And I remember one of his videos on Instagram. His Instagram is gone, by the way. Um, one of his videos, he had short sleeves, but you could visibly see the scars on his arms. And I felt like that was definitely an improvement from his more recent states, which have been like, all depressed and long sleeves and it hurt me because I'm like I could have done something to prevent those scars from scars from getting there but I didn't know and um, he called me one night and I said hey what's up he's like Oh, nothing, just wanted to talk a little bit. And I could tell he had been crying. And I'm like, you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry. He's like, I'm good. Just <laughs> rough day. I'm like, yeah, I'll bet. And it was like really late. And I'm like, hey, I gotta go to bed. Um, I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm like, bye. And he's like, bye. And... That was the last time I ever talked to him. But I didn't know that. I woke up the next morning and I tried calling him. It was like 7.30 because that's when I get up and he didn't answer. So I'm like, oh yeah, he's just he's still sleeping <laughs> so I called him around lunchtime and I still didn't get an answer so I'm like oh he's probably busy or something I called him around uh, like 7 at night I didn't get an answer from him I got an answer from his grandfather I'm like is Alex there and he's like you didn't know I'm like what happened Alex overdosed They found him dead in the morning. They said he killed himself that night. I think after he hung up with me and that hit me hard. Because I felt like for the for the longest time I felt like I could have done something to stop that. I could have prevented that. It never happened. And recently, I've kind of gotten out of the hole of, this is my fault, I should have done something. And recently, one of my best friends 
one of their friends killed themselves as well. And they had the same thing I did where I should have called them, I should have talked to them, I should I could have saved them. And I know this is the this was the hardest reality for me to face. Even if you talk to them, their mind's probably made up. That was the reality that I had to come to terms with, with Alex. That no matter what I did, he had his mind made up and I couldn't do anything to stop it. I was powerless. But it hurt. It still does and it's not gonna stop hurting. But I wanna be there for other people who are dealing with something like this, who are dealing with depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts. Get help. Things might not look good, but they'll, they'll get better. Trust me, I've been there. I'm still in that area where I don't know if things are gonna get better, but I still pull through. Because I have a family, friends who love me. Even if you feel like one person or your family doesn't love you, find someone who does and focus on them. That's what I have to do. I focus on the people that love me. Alex didn't really have anyone except me. He didn't really trust his grandparents that much and he didn't have any siblings or really good friends except me and he just gave up. So... Yeah, I guess that's it. I just... I've wanted to make this video for a long time. I haven't known how to make it. I haven't known how to address it. But this is the best I can do. Thank you guys for listening. See you guys in the next video.